Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading for Monday, 14th of August, 2017. Valentine is sleeping behind me. Hi, Valentine. I'd like to say, you know, it looks like all Valentine ever does is sleep. Practically all Valentine ever does do is sleep. What a great life. I think about it sometimes because I think she was born on the sofa. She's never been anywhere else. She has food kind of, ooh, we're talking about you, sweetie. Sort of not whenever she wants it, but you know, food kind of on demand. She never left her mum. It's a pretty good life, isn't it, Val? It's a pretty good life. Yes. She's now purring really loudly. <sighs> How are you? I'm back in a jumper. How did that happen? It's August. It's kind of like halfway through August. And I should be bronzed. And how oh, that's so strange. <laughs> Look at the first card. <laughs> Sun in the reverse. I should be bronzed and sun kissed. And I'm not. Valentine's on the move. That's interesting. Two major arcana. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I think the reason that we've got the sun in reverse, because for Monday I kind of see it as how we're starting the week. I think we got the sun in reverse because we're between, between, there you go, we're between, we're between two eclipses. So, I don't know, it sounds really weird. It's not a very well lit place to be. It's kind of like being in the dark. It's more like dealing with the moon energy. So I can see how we don't have the sun influencing us. We also have six of cups in reverse. We've just entered Mercury retrograde and I feel that some of us might be yearning. It can be a time of yearning. It's a time of, you know, whatever our internal chip is for processing what's happened in the last six months or the last period since Mercury last did its magic. We kind of take all that stuff and we feed it through our internal computer system for whatever that is for processing. It can either be, for me recently, it's been in dreams. I mean, do you ever go to sleep and your kind of night time, as in the time when you're asleep, seems busier than the day? <laughs> it's like my head's just full of it. <laughs> like this. I think it's processing stuff. Everybody has their own way. So you may just be feeling sad. You may be feeling... You may get loads of almost images like floating into your mind or little flashbacks, smells of something, you know, like grandma's perfume or whatever it is, or the sort of smell of when there used to be bonfires in the garden will just drift onto the air. So there may be some kind of feelings of longing. That's what I get for the Six of Cups. Also for some of us with the Six of Cups, has to be for some of us and this is only you know a small amount romantically people can return it can be old loves returning for anything from just to say hi to i love you and i want you back to i just wanted to get some closure because we ended things rather messily to whatever it is hello youngin so we've also got the magician in the reverse. For some of us, this is an Aquarius. The magician for me is very strongly my Aquarius card. It isn't for everybody. It's not written in tarot stone or anything like that. It's just for me and my experiences. Some of us may be dealing with an Aquarius from the past. Some of us may just be feeling just a bit blue, to be honest. Just a bit down, just a bit nostalgic just a bit like we're not in our own magic like we can't create what we want um you may start to feel i certainly do a bit worn down as mercury retrograde progresses over the next three weeks 
well, three and a half weeks. Sometimes you do just get a bit backwards. It's all about the memories, you know. You don't really want to know about what's going on just now. You just feel a bit jaded. But that's okay, because that will pass. Let's have Brian and Wendy Frude, part of my bottom oracle. Oh, yes. This is only for a few people, but you will know who you are. The captive man. Mm. For some of us, the captive man, if you look at the way this card is, and look, there is like a new moon sickle on there as well. So just bear in mind that new moon, uh, that new moon Aquarius, new moon eclipse on the 21st in Leo. Just bear that in mind. For some of us, the captive man is captive in our thoughts. It can also be a woman. So it's just a person that maybe we can't get out of our head, but we don't want to do anything about. Hence, magician in the reverse. You don't want to make anything happen. You don't want to pull any tricks. There's no sleight of hand. And yet this person won't dislodge from your head. It's like they're trapped as a kind of a memory. And it feels like they're kind of resonating with you. For others, it's to do with being involved in some kind of relationship which involves some element of captivity so it could be being involved with someone who is involved with someone else they're going through a messy divorce something like that or it can be that whatever it is about this person makes you want to capture them all the time but they slightly seem out of your reach so you kind of you just have that feeling of wanting to and that's not a brilliantly healthy feeling but sometimes you just can't help it there are certain people that bring that side of you out and this is either an ex person an old lover or someone who sort of drifts in and out of your life at times maybe definitely drifting back in your head and maybe <laughs> drifting back into your bed no i don't mean that Drifting back in real life, like popping up, bumping into people or them getting in contact. It doesn't feel like a massively healthy vibe. The captive man is sometimes someone who doesn't want to be pinned down. But that usually makes you want to pin them down. Human beings are weird. We're ever so topsy-turvy and contrary, aren't we? It is what it is. What does Colette Baron reed have to say about all this? <laughs> oh, Colette, I so agree. And Valentine is right with you, aren't you, Val? And also, this is a new moon card again. And it has a fox on. The fox could represent, you know how my Seven of Swords is sometimes the snaky fox card. I take foxes to be quite, quite insouciant, a little bit of a player, you know, what, a bit like this captive man, okay? Time for a nap. That's what Colette Baron reed says. Nap your way to the new moon solar eclipse. Wouldn't that be great? A bit like Valentine, you know? So 80% of the day you would just be stunned like this and then oh, I love that idea time for a nap that just means literally do you know what if you can't get this person thing whatever it is out of your head spend as much time asleep as possible there's nothing wrong with that in this kind of rather busy 21st century life we feel like that's lazy, but do you know what? It's not. It's not at all lazy. Do you know what I'm going to choose? I've got some new oracle cards. Shadows and light. They look amazing, don't they? I'm going to have one of these. Yeah, it's not lazy to um, sleep as much as you possibly can. I mean, obviously, you need to work and all the rest of it. We all know that. But, you know, your time is your own. If you choose to spend it napping, how wonderful is that? 
time for a nap. Right, let's have a shadow. Ooh, Oracle of Shadows and Light. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> it's really weird. We get strange Valentine. <laughs> oh, you're not strange, are you, Valentine? Strange Valentine. Love is strange. That's what I mean. We are human. What do they say? To err is human, isn't it? To err is human. To something else is divine. I'm d I don't know what the divine bit is, only the erring. I'm quite good at the erring, as we all are. That's what I'm saying. We need to just accept that sometimes people that aren't good for us keep popping into our head. And no, it isn't particularly healthy. And no, we probably shouldn't go back to them. But yes, we are human. And it does happen. And love is strange. And it reminds me of a song I used to like. It was an indie song. And it said, it's funny how the girls you fall in love with never fancy you. It's funny how the ones you don't do. And I get that kind of vibe. You just got to go with it. Nap as much as you can and it will pass. Strange Valentine. We'll have a healing with the angels card as well because I'm enjoying myself. Oh, it's you. Yep. Divine timing. People, sometimes we're not in charge. There you go. That's your reading for Monday the 14th. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you want a private reading, you can book in the description box below. Check out your August 2017 reading. They're all up on my channel. And also check out the weekly reading, which runs from the 12th to the 19th of August. Time stamped for each sign, so you can look at your sun, your moon, and your rising. Brilliant. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye.